Hale's originally from New York City. Currently lives out on La Pampa in Argentina. Expect some beautifully written songs, beautifully performed by Richard Schindel. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. How about another hand for They Shall Not Pass? <laughs> that, that was amazing, wasn't it? I'm going to start off here with a song about uh, political refugees. It's called You Stay Here. You stay here and I'll go look for wood. Do not fear, I'll be back soon enough. Do not let the fire die, neither let it burn too bright. You stay here and I'll go look for bread. And if I can, some sugar for the kids. Dry your eyes, I'll be all right. I know where they've laid the mines. You stay here and I'll go look for coats. Think I there's some out on the road. We'll wash them clean with melted snow. The kids don't ever have to know. And you stay. I think I know where they've buried some. Cause if the tiger comes one night, we won't go without a fight. You stay here. Go look for God. Not so hard, cause I know where he's not. I will bring him back with me. Make him listen, make him see. Thank you. Thank you so much. This next one is uh, it's a 
a deeply weird song. It's, uh, it's, it takes place in my home area, where, I was, where I'm from, which is in New York, New Jersey area, in the northeast of the United States. And, uh, this one is called Transit. The merge from the turnpike was murder. It's never a cinch It was Friday at five And no one was giving an inch They squeezed and they edged and they glared Half of them clearly impaired By rage or exhaustion The rest were just touchy as hell Somewhere near Patterson, everything slowed to a crawl. The all-new station was thanking someone for the call. It's a van from St. Agnes's choir. There's a nun out there changing a tire. By the time they got fired, tempers were out of control so they all hit the gas in a dash for position bobbing and weaving and flashing their high beams and flipping the bird and screaming obscenities a well-insured horde hell-bent on Saturday Law and decorum constraining Nary on By then it was devil may care Not a one even vaguely aware that They had come all the way to the Delaware water gap How had it happened? They had all missed their exits. How had it happened? Was it some kind of vortex? And in they all went bumper to bumper, faster and faster, no sign of a trooper. And in they all went like sheep to the slaughter, bankers and carpenters, doctors and lawyers. And in they all went families in minivans, Democrats, Republicans, but mostly Republicans, they followed the river and rounded the bend between Mincy and Tammany and into their destiny lying in ambush right there before them, the angry old sun right on the horizon. Sister Maria tightened the bolts of the spare. She said a quick prayer and put the old van into gear. Thank God the traffic was light. If she hurried, she might not be late for that evening's performance at the penitentiary she entered the common room and there was her choir altos and baritones basses and tenors car thieves and crack dealers mobsters and murderers husbands and sons fathers and brothers and so it began in glorious harmony softly and tenderly calling for you and me with the interstate crying way off in the distance 
and the sun going down through the bars of the prison and they poured out their souls they poured out their memories they poured out their hopes for what's left of eternity to sister maria her soul like a prism for the light of forgiveness on all of their faces Thank you. Well, I have a new record out. Uh, and thank you. And uh, it's, it, this is a song on that record. This song, there's a, there's a British connection to this song. I, I, it's a song. Mentions, uh, you still have deer parks here, don't you? Does the crown still have dominion over the deer? Uh, is that a yes or a no? Yes. yes, yes, okay. I just recently learned also about the swans. And it's a very odd thing that a thousand years is it? And is it all swans everywhere or is it just swans in a circumscribed area? All swans. <laughs> It's fantastic. Well, this is called The Deer on the Parkway. Through the trees, kinships and cells, sixes and threes, following true to the call they obey. Their eyes on the prize, each blade of the way. Ages ago, they roamed. King's wood, and though he would hunt them, they considered him good. The odd royal arrow, a small price to pay for keeping the poachers and freedom at bay. And deer on the parkway bridge, right to the edge, I come round the bend. There Will the deer on the parkway let me pass by? Freedom is narrow and it's grasses grow thin by the side of the road the straight that they're in but the median's lush and it's luring them out out onto the parkway where I'm heading south just trying to get home just like everyone else down through the county neither heaven nor hell or if you don't kill me friend well i won't kill you that muttering king yeah i'm missing too and the deer on the parkway graze right to the edge i come round the bend they're lifting their heads my head Will the deer on the parkway let me pass by? Will the deer on the parkway let me pass by?
Thank you. It used to be called the Deer on the Sawmill because I was talking about the Sawmill River Parkway. But um, if you're not from New York, you think I'm talking about an actual sawmill and that there are, and the deer upon it, which would be a, just a disgusting image. And so I changed it, for those of you who are not familiar with the Sawmill River Parkway, I changed it to Deer on the Parkway. So as not to evoke that image. This one is the title track from the new record. I lost you It was April, May I can't be more precise I was drinking then The time frame is a wash But I lost you Of that I am quite sure Enforcements, all your messages, I got them all. Sure, I was drinking. That is no excuse. The drink brought out the worst in me, but the worst in me was me. Intentions. Mine were reprehensible. It's a heavy word, but nothing else will do. So I keep them. Sometimes I take them out. I hold them up and look at them to remind myself of how far I can fall. But I've learned to live with it now. But that doesn't mean forget how careless I was with you then. You who were once my friend. I've learned to live with it now 
Thank you. this lovely thing at the uh, Shrewsbury Festival about six years ago, I don't know, five years ago. Greatest, most astute purchase ever. This song is called Reunion Hill. Must have been late September when last I climbed Reunion Hill. I fell asleep on Indian Boulder and dreamed to dream. I will not tell. I came home as the sun went. One I trained upon the ground, and even now I find there things glasses, coins, and golden rings. time my well is deep the water pure my streams are fed by mountain lakes I clean the brow of many a soldier dousing for my husband across the valley and disappear into the trees. Now alone there in a sea of blue circles every afternoon a single hawk in God's great sky looking down with God's own eyes and he soars above reunion hill I pray he spirals As if from such an altitude He might just keep our love in view Must have been in late September when last I climbed Reunion Hill. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you. out on the Pampa in, the, um, in, uh, in Argentina, out on the prairie there. Farm country. There are cows nearby, and uh, there's a dairy farm next door. And every once in a while, one cow kind of wanders over to our neck, neck of the woods, our part of the prairie, and fails to get the memo to go home in the evening. <laughs> and hangs out all night long, making horrible, pathetic noises. song is from the point of view of that cow. <laughs> it's called Straight Cow Blues. Moon gone down, sun still hours away. Sun's still hours away. I'm out here waiting, waiting for the light of day. There's a shadow creeping, there's a hoot owl in the tree. There's a shadow creeping, a hoot owl in the tree. That hoot owl sees barbed wire, ditches and thickets, mud's cold and I'm gut deep in it. Nothing to do but hang my head in low. I followed the grass till all the grass gave out. I followed the green grass till all the grass came out. And I raised my head, I took a look around. Oh, where the hell did everybody go? Ditches and thickets, mud's cold, and I'm gut deep in it. Nothing to do to hang my head and blow.
Thank you. Here's another one off the new record. This is called Your Guitar. I have a I have an affliction when it comes to uh, instruments. I, I, I love them too much. And and I I, I I frequently become attached to them and uh, buy them. <laughs> it's a real thing. It's a, that's actual it's an actual condition. Uh, and uh, and uh, this one was this this is about a particular guitar, a 1931 Larson, which uh, which I owned for a while. I don't have it anymore. I'm I'm, I'm rather fickle. Um, Inconstant, uh, but it had belonged to someone, and I found out this that it had belonged to this person, a fine musician. After I, after I bought it, and um, so this this song is really uh, playing together. I wrote it right uh, this song right after I got the guitar, and it, this song kind of came out of the guitar itself. It's called Your Guitar. She's never been a change of season and a cold desert wind. She must be wondering what kind of trouble she's in. But just look at her. She's beautiful. Her face shines with its own light. No longer young, she's seen her years. And I can see that you loved her truly, as she loved you and stayed by your side. A constant voice all through your life. All her sweet spots are making you sigh. My stranger's touch. She is skittish still, so I start out taking it slowly. The familiar tunes to take her back. First up the Red River Valley to let her know she's not alone. And I know something about leaving a home We settled down in Shenandoah And the wide Missouri flows
your guitar has traveled far all the way from California. Thank you. called A Summer Wind in a Cotton Dress. I was hers, and you were his, the night we met out on that bridge. You knew then. I know now that love put down comes back somehow. The comet came, the comet went and hid its face in the firmament. I looked once and then turned away. When I looked again, it was much too late. The summer wind, the cotton dress. This is how I remember you best. A glance held long and a stolen kiss. This is how I remember you best. Sometimes dream I'm holding you instead. A summer wind, a cotton dress. This is how I remember you best. A glance held along and a stolen kiss. This is how. Kids are fine, they're six and nine. I think you'd probably like my wife. But the kitchen light seems much too bright for what I find myself thinking tonight. A summer wind, a cotton dress. This is how I remember you best. A glance held along and a stolen kiss. This is how I remember you best. This is how I remember you best. This is how. Thank you. Thank you. you. Want to hear a new, a newish one now? New. Uh, it's not, I'm not even sure it's done yet. I probably shouldn't do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. It's called Midnight Bridge.
might have never happened, I suppose. Love would ever break what love imposed. Silence was a sentence, a penance and a gift. And then you called. And then you called me. I thought I knew the way that this would go. I'd always see what memory would show. A doorway up on telegraph, a chill down by the bay. up the phone But out here on this midnight bridge We are not alone To the edge. The moon remembered something you once said. The sun will keep his distance. Look how far we made him run. Might have never happened, I suppose. Thank you. I think we've turned on the fans. <laughs> I approve. <laughs> you made the right call. Come on, Clara, don't look at me with those big sad eyes. Please, Clara, no use crying, I won't work this time. Enough is enough, we've been through this a thousand times. Ever since we started roaming to wherever it is we're going. Come on, Clara, be a good mule, now stop this farce. Please, Clara, the wind is cold and it's getting dark. Don't fail me now, get up, girl, I've followed you this far. Out here beyond all knowing, only you know where 
we're going, Clara, dear. I must have been a fool to ever listen to a mule, even one as sharp as you are, oh, Clara, dear. A soul's a heavy load when you're running out of road and you can never go back to Rome. Come on, Clara, the map said there'd be monsters here. Hear that noise, whatever it was, sounded wicked weird. Vandals, Celts, and Visigoths are everywhere. And this road ain't even Roman. Just where the hell are we going, Clara, dear? I must have been a fool to ever listen to a mule, even one as cute as you. Ah, oh, Clara, dear. A soul's a heavy load When you're running out of road And you can never go back to Rome Take us just over this one last ride. Please, Clara, maybe there's something on the other side. We'll build a little fire there to get us through this night. Out here beyond all knowing, only you know where we're going, Clara, dear. I must have been a fool to ever listen to a mule. Even one as smart as you Oh, Clara, dear A soul's a heavy load When you're running out of road And you can never go back to Rome And you can never go back to Rome And you can never Go back Thank you. It's not, it's not fans at all, is it? It's, <laughs> I see now, I see what's happening. Anyway, whoever decided that, good call. This next one's called, Are You Happy Now? Thank you.
took the toaster when you went. You never paid your half the rent. You took the spices from the rack, but you don't have to put them back. Cause in your haste on Halloween, you left your camera on the bed where we played roles in black and white. You left a roll of black and white. I set the timer and thought of you. Put the lens up to my head. I took a photograph for you. What comes out gray is really red. And are you? Pumpkin on the floor, the candle flickered at my feet as goblins flew across the moon. The children peered into the room. A cowboy shivered on the porch. Cinderella checked her watch. A hobo waited in the street. An angel whispered, trick or treat. But what was I supposed to do? But to sit there in the dark I was amazed to think that you Could take the candy with you too And are you happy now? Are you happy now? Dawn, and I cannot believe my eyes. This garbage strewn across the lawn. Where we once stared up at the sky. Streams of paper filled a tree that hovered over you and me. And shaving cream covers the car that we picked up in Baltimore. And though I know it's hard to tell. I hope that what's his name treats you well. I still maintain that he's a bum, but it's your money. Have some fun. And are you? Sing along. Happy now. Are you? Happy now. Are you? Happy now. apology to make. This song obviously takes place on Halloween. It uh, used to be a favorite uh, feast day for me, both in, the, both in the Christian sense and the, you know, the alimentary sense. My apology is that you bequeathed to us a beautifully d weird, uncanny, uh, kind of pagan, Christian, mysterious, slightly dangerous, beautiful holiday. And we gave it back to you as horrible, orange, commercial, crass, obscenity. And for that, I am deeply sorry. I also have to apologize in this song to the person who I was dating when I wrote it. <laughs> uh, she didn't deserve this in any way. I write fiction, and it it's, uh, sometimes gets me in trouble. So apologies to her. 
I knew it was gonna not go over well in the relationship, this song, so I wrote this little extra piece here at the end. Feel free to sing along. You always asked why I had not written you a verse or two. I was trying to say something nice. You always asked why I had not. No, 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 I messed it up. You always asked why I had not written you a verse or two. Since that's the one thing I regret I dedicate this one to you So are you Happy now Are you Happy now Are you Happy now Thank you. Thank you. The, uh, the apologies will now continue. <laughs> Much to apologize for. <laughs> this one, uh, the last verse, I stole uh, entirely from, I stole it entirely from John Dunn. And uh, everything. Um, I had written the song, and I didn't know how to get it. It's, the song is called Fenario, and it's about it's it's a, it's an old it's based on an old song which we know as Pretty Peggyo, and you might know as the Bonnie Lass of Fiveio. And I took I took the story there, and um, as I know it anyway, of of Pretty Peggyo and Sweet William O before he's about to go off to battle. And I made the song from the point of view of Peggy O. Um, and she's um, imploring the sun not to come up, because when it does, he's going to have to go. Um, so I, I, I wasn't sure how to end this, whether I should just have him go off and you know, go to the battle and where bad things were sure to happen. Um, and so I was, I was in doubt. So as I often do when I'm in doubt in, in a song, I'll just take down a book from from the shelf and see what it, see what it falls open to. And in this case, it fell open to J the John Donne section of the, of the Oxford Book of English Verse, the 1918 Arthur Quill of Couch edition. <laughs> and <laughs> yep. And it fell open, just I mean randomly to the John Donne uh, section, and specifically to a poem called "Break of Day." Um, which I thought was interesting because the song is about that. It's about break of day and what's going to happen when the sun comes up. So I read the poem, and there I encountered the final four verse, uh, lines to my song in the same meter. Now, how could John Donne have known that? <laughs> he didn't get the rhyme scheme right, but you know, it's all right. It's okay. And he's been dead long enough so that I don't have to pay him any royalties. So it's excellent. It's the most excellent arrangement. I do have to give him credit. So you'll know the verse. It's the last verse. It's the one that's really good. <laughs> the song is called Fenario. True, my the room, the sickle loom, 
Asleep. Darkness, darkness, bind him to me. Hide him in your velvet cloak. Come the dawn, he'll rise and go. A marching to Fenary. my love but false the king false his war and false his dawn from thine eyes the day breaks not it is my heart because that you and I must part darkness darkness bind him to me hide him Marching to Fenary. Oh. Thank you very much. Thank you. Exactly what we needed, wasn't it? It was just beautiful, fantastic. And you've been a lovely, lovely audience. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play one more for you here. Uh, it's, it's, uh, but before I go, I'd like to, to thank all the lovely people here at the Shrewsbury Festival. It's really just a, such a wonderful place to come back to, and I've been here a few times now, and it just keeps getting better, and 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 I've now have lots of friends here, and so it's like. It's a great reunion. We don't get to see each other much when we're, you know, musicians, by definition, we're often on the road in different places. And so a festival is an occasion to see your friends, and uh, especially Steve Knightley and his family and everybody from Show of Hands who have been so kind to me. And uh, yeah, give it up for them. song takes place in uh, where she lives, my mom. She lives in Cape Cod, Massachusetts, near Beach. It's the arm that comes up from around Boston there. And, uh, and it's a song that, uh, it's a weird song. It's, um, it started off being a song about a, 
a bunch of guys building a sandcastle, uncles and nephews and fathers and sons building a great elaborate sandcastle, doing battle with the tide, you know, which is an exercise in futility, of course, and, but that's what we do. So it was turning into one of those songs, like a futility of all human endeavor kind of song. <laughs> That just bored me. I thought that was a terrible idea for a song. And so I um, was about to abandon it when my daughter reminded me that I had promised to come to go, on, to go out with her that Saturday morning and get a, a, a new canary, you know, because the old canary. <laughs> um, and so I, I left the song and, and we went out and did that. We got the canary. And then I came back and then the canary flew into the song. So this is that song, the beach song, and then there's this visitation in, in it. I'm very grateful for it. It's called There Goes Mavis. Mavis was the name of the canary. Thank you. Beach at Nukem Hollow, last days of August. The other side of low tide, sun is high, sun is high. We're kneeling in the wet sand, propping up a wall breach. Quick before the next wave. Rushes in, rushes in. The moat around the castle is filling up with water, but hope springs eternal. All hands ready. A little girl is shouting, fly away, fly away. But we pay no attention. The castle is in danger. The ramparts are sinking. We dig on, we dig. There's an orange canary on our driftwood flagpole. Shovels down, boys, step away. The little girl comes running. She can't be more than seven. Mother is behind her with a cage, with a cage. And her mother is explaining, maybe it's just too far. And she'll never survive here on her own, on her. not listening she's talking to the bird Mavis you can trust me now's your big chance fly away fly 
Mavis has been listening. She isn't letting on. We're all just waiting. No one moves. No one moves. And then comes the big one. Swamping the castle. watching when it falls, when it falls. We're following the progress of a little bolt of orange on the long horizon. There goes Thank you all so much. It's been a pleasure. Have a lovely day. See you walking around. I'll be signing CDs later tonight. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the wonderful Richard Schindel.